Welcome to the Trues. Happy Independence Day, American viewers, Umbarak Ramadan, Muslim viewers, and both if you are an American Muslim. We've had a lot of uh, interesting reaction to my communication with you that the one minute silence is dubious given that the people that are suggesting it are the people that provoke the conditions that cause it. One of the most interesting reactions was shut up and show respect, Jeremy Kyle blast Russell Brand's minute silence Tunisia ramp. Fascinating reaction, because what of course I said is, the reaction to the horrific Tunisia massacre will be more of the type of behaviour that causes these conditions in the first place. Now that conflicts with the mainstream media narrative. The mainstream media narrative is that certain individuals or certain groups of individuals independently cause problems and that there is no broader social context. It's the job of the truth to tell you the truth, that these things happen as a result of complex relationships and sometimes provocation and deliberate exacerbation of, of, of those kind of conditions. So like, it seems like the, uh, one of the main angles of attack is that I'm disrespectful to the victims. Now you know me, you, like, and I happen to believe in God, so I've personally like, said my prayers for the, for the victims of that massacre and for the families of the victims of that massacre because I feel sincere uh, sadness for their loss and for their suffering and our whole episode of the truth was built on tom masson's comment tom masson was at the hotel when it happened and he wrote to us saying how the muslim staff of the hotel had been heroic and brave now the idea that i'd be disrespectful to the victims of that massacre that's that's personally offensive to me and it's untrue and, di and it's disingenuous the people that are writing that i don't respect the victims they know that i respect the victims but that what they want to do is provoke an argument that obfuscates my valid opinion and the, well, not even my opinion, the truth that this kind of conflict and these kind of events are provoked, caused, exacerbated, made much, much worse by Britain's arms sales around the world, our aggressive foreign policy, a general attitude of condemnation to Muslims. And that me, in reframing the argument and making it about the actual problem, is a threat to them. It's a threat to them. They want to make it about this crazy group, that crazy individual causes these problems. You know, and if you go, well, hold on a minute, let's look at all of the information, let's look at all the facts, let's look at there's good and bad on both sides. Obviously, the victims are completely out of it. I mean, like, a victim is a person that's, you know, as the word correctly indicates is just happens to be on holiday in Tunisia and is you know, blamelessly killed. That's for me, that's very, very sad. Of course we respect people that have suffered. This is all about respect for people that suffered. What I think is disrespectful is to use the deaths of innocent people to continue to perpetuate your worldview and to continue to create the problems that caused their deaths in the first place. A, a culture based on conflict, condemnation and prejudice. Instead of saying, all right, that's enough people dying innocently now what can we do to solve it what can we do to prevent more innocent people dying is there anything we can do well of course there is we have to bring our enemies closer we have to find new ways of conversing we have to stop exploiting the poor people of the world poor nations of the world disadvantaged people of the world so that the most powerful can continue to make profit now who do you think doesn't want to have that conversation? The mainstream media, because they benefit from this mentality. They're not interested in truth, they're interested in negativity. And no one is more interested in creating negativity than Jeremy Kyle. Now, Jeremy Kyle, you're not going to get a better example of a negative cultural influence than Jeremy Kyle. Jeremy Kyle is a miner of ordinary people's misery. Jeremy Kyle's show is built by putting poor, vulnerable people on the television and exploiting them. This is what he's got to say on the subject. Show respect for Tunisia's victims and shut it, Brand. It's in the Sun newspaper. You will not, the Sun newspaper reports, purports to be for the working people of Britain, but does everything it can to keep the working people of Britain ignorant and down. So this is the perfect place for Jeremy Kyle to be writing. There's a time and a place to peddle conspiracy theories. It's, I mean, it's not a conspiracy theory. The government helps arms companies to sell arms in those countries. That's not a conspiracy. It's just some things that happen. The government and big arms companies go to countries on their own human rights abusers list and sell them arms. I'm telling you now, that's not a conspiracy. Just Google those words, it's a simple fact.
Jeremy Kyle knows that I like that I'm not saying to like just watch the episode of the truth. It's not like right, we should all like not obey that mini science to hell with it, man. We should stand united with the ordinary people of the world, including the Muslim hotel workers who defended British people from armed crazed terrorists. The truth entirely comes from a perspective of compassion, reaching out a hand of love, togetherness, unity, and brotherhood. But more important than all of that, truth. And when something is disingenuous, when we've got whole media institutions, government institutions set up to keep people down, to keep people in pain, to keep people suffering, then we've got to call it out, otherwise it will never change. It will never change. So of course I respect the victims. I respect the victims so much, in fact, that I'm prepared to have difficult conversations and to point out how these situations are exploited. Now, like you could say, well, I'm a media figure, I'm exploiting it as well. Well, kind of my job is I commentate on stuff. I talk about stuff. I try my best to tell the truth about stuff as just another flawed individual trying to make me way in the world. Now, what Jeremy Kyle does, what the mainstream media does is everything it can to keep you ignorant, to keep you disconnected, to keep you in pain and misery. And if there's anything I can do to prevent that, or even just to provide some balance, to provide an alternative voice, then I'm happy to continue doing that. But obviously, there's nothing much I can do on my own, but I had a very inspiring experience when I went to the Salvation Army in Whitechapel. The Salvation Army is a Christian organization that provides help and aid to the poor. In this particular case at William Booth House, they provide shelter for 150 homeless people. They were on this particular night helped by a group called Muslim Aid, who even though they're fasting because it's Ramadan, provided food for the homeless people of that shelter. It was a perfect example of Christians and Muslims coming together to help people. The main tenet of both of those faiths, Christianity and Islam, is that we in the service of a higher thing should help one another and love one another. Now these are stories that are never told. That's the old cliche. Why do we not see good news on the telly for a change? The good news is out there. Ordinary Muslims and ordinary Christians are coming together to do their best to change the world for the better. The media doesn't want to tell those stories because the media is not interested in those stories. The media wants to keep us down, keep us separate, keep us consuming. That the only avenue for happiness is to express yourself through buying stuff and oh well there's nothing we can do. But there is something we can do. We can come together in the spirit of goodness or God or Allah or America. Whatever you believe in, we can come together in that spirit to create a better world of benevolence and kindness. We at The Trues for you want a different kind of dialogue, want a different experience of being alive that feels pure and real and decent whether you're a Muslim or a Christian or a Jew or an atheist all of us know what it is to be decent and truthful and honest and Jeremy Kyle don't want you visiting that place the mainstream media don't want you going there they have the gall to call themselves the sun the heavenly orb that creates all light the star distant constellations for by which we navigate ourselves the mirror reflecting back at us I mean it's a ludicrous that what they call themselves what they purport to be and what they actually are so far away but we are the truths it's a pun on true news and that is what we are true news subscribe here nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused truths is like the news if the news was true i want some truths let's have some truths